I actually managed to save. Okay. Hush. We're going for the uppercut. You better get it right this time. Okay, you actually worked. Yeah. Aha! I knew you were weak on your right side, Doctor. No, the enemy. You need not fear the result of a hundred battles, eh? Uh, I had not. A counter was this. I did not expect a human as strong as you to come to the restaurant. We'll be taking Mirai and Kaku back now. And you're closing this restaurant. You'll be making a king worry, you know? <laughs> Very well. I shall defer you to your impressive physique. Don't worry, I shall spend some time coming up with a new way of harvesting ingredients. He's not even trying to hide the fact that he's aiming to be back open soon, oh my god. Make sure you get permission from the king when you reopen, okay? No, don't tell him that, why are you so nice? That's it for that then. Yep. Are you okay, Miru, Kaku? When Christmas, Miru and Kaku are warm and steamy. And Miru and Kaku got to eat the vegetables from the bath. They are still a little on the rear side. That's good. Merry Christmas, Miru and Kaku are going to go burn off some calories now. Yay! Some people just never slow down. Ah, I'm so hungry. And to be hungry is to be sad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, remember this is the dad, yeah? Oh my, a restaurant. Wait, no, don't go in. Hmm? What's wrong? You can't go in here. It's closed right now. What? No, and I thought I'll finally get to eat some corn. The king thought this restaurant was suspicious. You aren't from around here, are you? No, I'm not. I'm a migrant. I'm on a journey now. A journey? Do you come here on the train, sir? Yes, that's right. I've never seen this town before, so I decided to look around. Ah, journeys are wonderful. So many things to see. But being hungry is terrible. It makes me so sad. I suppose I'll keep looking for food then. Goodbye. You could have met with you. Oh no, I'm so sad now. <laughs> Nag Nagaki and I watched the migrant wander back into the forest. If he'd been five minutes earlier, he might have ended up with a spit. A lucky fellow. Definitely. And so we solve the case of the vanishing restaurant goals. What do we do now? Well, we got go again. We should probably go report to the king. He must still be worried. Ah, of course. Let's go back to the palace now then. We'll be walking more. Is that okay with you and Nagaki? Yes, I like walking with you. He's so quiet that I hadn't realized. I'm glad he's enjoying himself anyway. Come to think of it. Being able to go on a journey and walk around outside like this must be a, like a dream come true for him. It is a dream after all. Hmm. Wouldn't it be nice if this dream lasted forever, Nike? You will wake up when morning comes. It has to end eventually. I know, I know. But until then, I want to keep walking along with you, Miss Pretty. Me too! For now, we can walk back to the King's Palace. The king said that would not be ne the king said that, that would not be necessary. I forgot how I read him. <laughs> Look at you, cutie. It's the forward king. You appear out of nowhere just like your citizens, Mr. King. Your Majesty, we defeated the owner of the restaurant. The restaurant is closed now, so there's nothing more to worry about. The king is very grateful. Thank you, guess it's from far away. Thank you. You're welcome. The king would like to reward you. Please accept the king's gift. Wow, something that I'll never, never like have a hand out after I woke up, right? Whoa, what a pretty gem. What kind is it? A garden. The name comes from the French word for pomegranate. It looks a little bit like a pomegranate. 
I guess. But the king is still troubled. The king asked, will you listen to the king's next request? This is not the end yet. You must be having an awful lot of trouble for how peaceful this planet seems. Um, uh, what do you think, Nagaki? We don't have anything else to do, do we? I'll let you decide. Oh, uh, mom, 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 save, 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 save. Well, heroes are supposed to complete the quest as set before them, right? What is the next request, Mr. King? The flowers in the garden are going to be blown away. Blown away? Is there a typhoon coming? The garden is going to explode. What kind of garden is this? The king is very scared. The king is crying. Wow, what a useless... Even I would be a little unsettled if my garden was going to explode. Let's help him, Miss Pretty. Leave it to us, Mr. King. We're back in the city, but where do you think this explosive garden is exactly? Who knows? I don't see anything likely here. Maybe it's on the outskirts of the town. And this time we might not even know if we see it. We should have gotten the king to show us the way. Uh, shit. <laughs> the, f <laughs> the flowers blew up. The garden exploded. Nike, look! A crowd of panicking citizens trying to run away from something, like rats from a burning sewer pipe. That analogy is a little mean, Miss Pretty. We'll probably find a garden if we go towards whatever they're running from. <laughs> nice. Nice. Bird tool. What is this lunacy? Do you mean to tell me that blowing up gardens is common practice on this barbaric star? Sakoya? Huh? Did that something like this happen a few weeks ago? Yeah, I did. It's a nice garden. Aside from the holes. And poor Sakoya. He gets to be the bombing Vitti in a dreamland. It is dreadful. And I have an important tea party scheduled for local celebrities today. This disgrace will be besmirched. This, this, this disgrace will besmirch the Lebel family name. Oh, so he's hosting a tea party here? Oh my god, he should have invited me to it. Although I'm not a celebrity. You know who did this? I haven't the slightest. There's been no suspicious activity. The garden blew up by itself. So, time bombs. Said before everyone got here. That's not awfully meticulous terrorism for a fairy tale world. Have you already made enemies who will want to ruin your name on this planet, Sophia? Do you mock me? Perhaps you'll not notice, but this is a dream, and it only, only just started. I've barely been here for a few hours. I like how, I like how your characters back the fault for and go like, Do you not realize this is a dream where you... I'm pretty sure, I wait, what what are the chances of like any any of us dream in, in our dreams, right? The people in our dreams that tell us is, we are in a dream, man. I think it's more likely that I'll be like, hey, we're in a dream. I better go tell everybody my dream that it's a dream. And then they would just be like, they would just be staring blankly at me and ignore me. <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> How could I possibly make enemies? I think Sakuya's normally aristocratic attitude could make him all kinds of enemies within the space of a single conversation. But then again, none of the people here seem particularly short tempered. If it's not someone settling a grudge, then who? And why? Hmm. Maybe there's some other far deeper motive that we are just. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Confounded! More explosions? Miss Pretty, get down. Ah, wait, I still want to play Space Bar. Whoops. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I sure can see shit. I sure need that. So, wow, more holes. <sighs> Show yourselves, terrorists. Cowards. What can I bet is the brother? That's right. Come on and fight us like men. Wait. Someone's coming through. I knew it. Ah, looks like I arrived at last. 
Hallelujah. Salutations, mon ami. So yeah too. This is no time for salutations. You, you insufferable mongrel. What have you done to my beautiful garden? Oh. <laughs> Looks like I blew most of it up. Sorry, Sakuya. Looks like? What do you mean looks like? Take responsibility for your actions, you filthy mongrel. Kerr! Look at what you've done! My god, it is nothing but holes! I'm oh, sorry, sorry. I had a little trouble finding the entrance, you see. There's a gate right over there. Yeah, Yuya! Why do you have to do all this? <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you enjoy your job too much. Stop laughing, you fiend! Anyway, I'm so happy to see you. As your brother, I do worry about how you're doing, even in dream. Are you... What? What? He disappeared? He just fell. Into the hole. Yuya! Are you alright? There's no reply. It's just a hole. What was that all about? Down the hole he created himself. Huh! <laughs> Serve him right! The licentious cur! <laughs> I've never seen that word before. I wanna wave it. It looks like a rabbit hole. Wonderland! What can I expect Wonderland after this? So maybe he's in Wonderland? Thank you. You get it. Can you hear me, Sakazaki? I want you to sit down there in the dark and think about what you've done! It looks like the exploding gunner was just Yuya engaging in little accidental terrorism while trying to find the entrance. Why do you have to explode things then? Do you think that's all, Nagi? Probably. We don't have to stick around any longer, anyway. Yeah, quest completed! On to the next one. Oh, uh, Okosa next then. And so we solve another one of the king's problems. We've been here for a while now. Time always does pass strangely in dreams. Really? You can have a dream that seems like it lasts for months in a single 10 minute map. 10 minute map, thank you. 10 minute nap, after all, right? I don't know. I don't usually remember my dreams. Oh, do ghosts dream at all? I can't speak for other ghosts, but I sleep and I dream. Is that so? Hello again. Is this the right way to the tea party? Oh my god, I see him again! Mr. Migrant! I heard there's a tea party in the garden just outside town. And there's supposed to be a fine black tea and cake. <laughs> I give up, I gotta just read him like this. <laughs> to tell the truth, I prefer rice cookies and coffee. But any food sounds good right now. Unfortunately, the tea party is cancelled. What? The garden got targeted by a terrorist attack. I think it was for celebrities anyway, so I guess as ratty as you probably have gotten thrown out. Ah, is that so? This city is a cold, heartless place. Cheer up, mister. Come on, people like us are indomitable. The cruel upper classes can turn on us and grind us into the dirt. We will always spring back up like weeds. It's not much, but here. Oh? Nike has the migrant tree sugar cubes. I picked them up in the Milky Way. They were mixing with the stars. I heard that diamonds and sugar cubes float through the Milky Way along with the stars. These must be some of these. These must be some of those. Are you sure? Yes. They are not much, but maybe they'll be enough for now. Thank you. Now I can continue my journey. I'll repay you someday somehow. The self starred migrant gently flutters away. He's always just a little bit off. I bet whenever he goes to the store, the thing he looks looking for is sold out. I didn't realize there were sugar cubes floating in the Milky Way though. If I'm not, I would look for them while we were on the train. Where to next? Hmm, we've completed our goal again. That's the king's, eh. That's, that's the king's, eh. That's the king's cube. His royal highness, the king. He's here. The bird was blowing up the garden, fell down the hole and disappeared. Although there are a lot of holes in the garden now. Hmm. Oh my god, he looks even horrible right now. It's so scary. The king is really evil. People who disturb the peace are scary. Huh? 
What has happened to the king's head? Oh, it's not just me, is it? Okay, did you imagine that? Huh? It is time for the king's reward. Please accept the king's jewel. Wait, the king is kind of suspicious. Is he actually a bad person? Oh, it's so pretty and blue. What's it called? Napis Lazuli. He really does know everything. The king said, Please, little, please, little. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? The king said, Please listen to the king's next request. Fire away, Highness! Don't you think you should word yourself more carefully, Miss Pity? Since you're getting to play the hero in performance. Should I? The king is very troubled. It looks like it might rain, so the king is in a terrible position. Red rain? In the stars? Have you considered an umbrella, sir? Idiot. It has never rained here since this kingdom was created. But there are dark clouds gathering at the summit of Mount Pudding. It's Okusa. Mount Pudding? I know who you meet there already. Mount Pudding is a tall, tall mountain. The clouds at its peak might slip off and slide down and come to the king's palace. And will it be a problem if the palace gets wet? It looks dirty enough. The throne doesn't. It will probably be just fine in a storm, never mind a little rain. The king is troubled. If the king's palace gets wet, mm. Mm. What is wrong with his head? Oh my god, it looks it looks like he sprout another uh, head, tiny head at the back of his head. Yeah, it, oh my god, it's not just me. The king will cry. He had another head again just now, didn't he? Oh my god, it's not just me then. But he looks normal now, I think. It mustn't be my imagination. Why would you start crying just because it's raining? The hero in the J-pop song on the show Jamanga might do something like that. Maybe the king is a delicate maiden at heart. Don't worry, your highness. I'll protect your fragile heart from the cruel weather. If you are fragile, you wouldn't... I mean, like, if you are fragile, you wouldn't be a king, right? <laughs> to Mount Pudding. After a long and perilous journey over Valley Mountain, he went there through dungeons deep and caverns old. <gasps> Nike and I arrive in Mount Pudding! I get the reference! <laughs> it is even more pudding than his name had led me to imagine. Looking at it, it. Well. I really can't think of any name other than Mount Pudding. Kah, kah, come, come down, son. Going berserk now won't fix anything. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> I'm not even like. Why would I be surprised? Fuck, it's real tough. Of course, he'd be dressed in a fucking fuck. Oh my god, he's the god and there's the Christ. Oh my god, look at the pudding on the Christ. Okosa, I knew you'd see him here. I thought Okosa would be here, but I hadn't, I hadn't quite expected you, Rota. Oh, hello, Abs. So you're here too? And Nagiki? So you will see. I see. I guess you two are together even in his dream then. We arrive on the same train. We are a dynamic duo on a quest for the king. What about you? I. Uh, Guess I'm a waterless of pudding. And the role comes with a new costume. This time he gets to be a nun. So that means Okosan is. Girl! Okosan is the beloved guardian deity of Mount Pudding! Incidentally, incidentally, what does he need these things on his back for? Aren't God supposed to be calm and composed? No! Girl! It's not the time for being calm! The vein is coming! Weather usually changes quickly in the mountains, so if you wait, it should be clear again eventually. Ah, uh, waiting is not an option. Okosan's pudding will be red and gooey. Sounds like the rain will be a problem for you too, Okosan. Definitely, I think it should be a more serious problem than the king. I'm just saying. The king said rain has never fallen here, so there must be something behind it. It might not go away even if we wait. Rain is bad! Okasan shall blow the clouds away! You're never going to get rid of the rain clouds. Eh, you're never going to get rid of rain clouds by flapping at them, son. And if 
the clouds get blown down the mountain, the king will be sad. We need to think of another way. The clouds are coming from the summit. Let's climb the mountain and see what's up there, Nagiki. Alright. Hmm, huh. that was more of a climb than I expected. I never realized the pudding was this hard to climb up. Well, you don't say. I suppose it is very slippery. <gasps> this reminds me of the advanced super adventure boss in Guild Wars 2. There was a terrible boss fight. Are you are you doing okay, Nagaki? You didn't get tired? Not at all. I flew. <laughs> wow, took you this long to realize. <laughs> this is the true separator of birds and men. Well, we are at the top. And there's something suspicious right over there. What the fuck? It's light in the Inugami clan. Nagi, what should we do? This isn't a fairy tale, it's a murder mystery. It's Tsukikiyo. The corpse upside down in the water was a diversion by the real culprit. People get it mixed up all the time, but Inugami Tsukikiyo wasn't the man in the white mask or the corpse in the water. So this is what the spoiler warning was for. Thanks for breaking the fourth wall and I have no idea. I still have no idea what this is about. Maybe I should go read it up. But even with a warning, it's bad. It's bad form because telling people the answers to puzzles and mystery. Nike, don't do that. Anyway, if we stay stuck in the caramel for too long, he'll suffocate. Let's help him. Right, you take one leg, I'll take the other. Oh, pfft. I was like, thinking like, what other characters are missing from the game? I totally forgot about Kazuaki. Eh, I can breathe again at last. Thank you. Wow, he's covered in caramel. Let me lick that off you, Kazuaki sensei. He's like a walking ant trap. Um, we've been bumping into people who were at the observation so far, so... You're Mr. Nanaki, right? No, that's not right. I'm Nemo. Nemo? So your name is... Nemo? Pretty sure... It's not supposed to be read as Nemo. Nemo, okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, it makes more sense after I say... Because I, I read it with like, the Western mindset. It's like, oh, it should be read as Nemo. The fish one. But then I just realized, like, oh, wait, this is a Japanese game. It should be read as Nemo. And it makes sense because, like, in Japanese, uh, Nemo means sleep. <laughs> That's why I was seeing what it's supposed to be la. Yes. Yes, that's right. I'm Nemo. And I lo I've lost something. I've lost something and I can't find it. So I think I might cry. And tears. Hey, Nike. Don't you think the rain's getting a little heavier? Definitely. And more clouds are gathering. <laughs> Where should I look? I think I dropped in this swamp. I look and I look and I don't find it. Now I feel sad. The sky sheds tears for you, Mr. Nemo. How poetic! Well, think about where we are. There's no need to think realistically. Oh, so to get rid of the clouds, maybe we need to solve Nemo's problem. What are you looking for, Mr. Nemo? We'll help you find it. You will? Really? That's so nice of you. I've lost my name. Y your your name? Hans Nemo. Wait! Okay, so it's nothing to do with sleep. Wait. Wait. Oh my god! Wait! Oh my god, I'm an idiot! I just realized, um, if you actually, um, like, if, like, usually in Japanese stories, that or like, um, okay, the easiest to, to, um, to look up, the, on, the only easiest reference that I could come up with right now is the movie I've watched, uh, uh, Stranger Muko Hadan. Stranger Muko Hadan. Something, what? Sword Strangers. I, I forgot the English title. Is is animator at bones? 
And the main character's name, I just realized the name main character's name is Nanaki, which uh, it literally if it's written in Japanese, the kanji right, it means it is the first word is na for name, and naki is non, you know, no name. So like basically, his name Nanaki can be used to be named to a person who has no name. So you kind of call them Nanaki. I just realized. And his name is Nanaki, but right now his name is Nemo, and I do not catch the 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 pun is meant like the meaning is meant for having no name. But I I definitely I got it wrong lah. How do you lose your own name? I just told you, Miss Pretty. Logical thought will get us nowhere. What does your name look like? Um, I wonder what it does look like. I asked the question here, Buck. I don't know. I can't see anything. Because your eyes are full of caramel. Uh, no, no, that's not it. Because I don't have eyes. I I eat them, you see. <laughs> what? <laughs> if a bird eats, it's all big, it will die. But if it eats his eyes, it will be fine. Nike. Every time Sukekiyo here opens his mouth, he does terrible, terrible things to our fairy tale atmosphere. Everything he says is way too surreal. Not really. The macro bird is a long standing tradition in fairy tales, after all. Anyway, I think I heard my name falling into the mud here. Uh, but we can't see anything through this caramel sauce. Do I just so happen to be carrying any convenient tools perfectly suited to the job? Uh, Nike. I have a pond fishing set with me. How? We don't know. Where you got it? We don't know. It's a dream. You keep one of those on your person. Does your tummy ever get the rumblies that only raw pond smell can cure? No, it doesn't. There's something wrong with you, ass. No. No one ever understands me. You don't understand. <laughs> anyway, maybe you can catch Mr. Nemo's name with this. I've got something. That's impressive, Miss Pretty. What is it? Hang on, I have it out in a second. Ha! Look at early Alice! A strawberry in the pudding? Mr. Nemo, your name is early Alice! <laughs> so funny. God, obnoxious. <laughs> I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure that that's not it. Uh, well, I guess there's nothing for it. Catch, release, and try again. A bite! This is a big one. It's certainly pulling quite hard. Here, let me help you. Please do! Yeah. We got it! This is... This is... Everberry Alexandria! Mr. Nemo, Mr. Nemo! Your name is Everberry Alexandria! <laughs> no, I'm not a strawberry. Beggars can't be choosers, Mr. Nemo. Oh my god, how stubborn can you get? Nagiki and I continue fishing for a while, but we only ever catch strawberries. Just, what is this Mr. Nemo's name? Okay. I guess we're not finding it. Don't start feeling down, Mr. Nemo. You'll make the rain worse. We might not find it at this rate. Maybe we should give you a new one. A new name for Mr. Nemo? Would it solve the problem? I hadn't thought of that. I guess I'm empty from the ID's bag. What? That's all we need to do? A new name. A new name. Nanaki. <laughs> Irony. How about Lady? How about Lady Lucy? Early Rosie? I told you, I'm not a strawberry. Those are all strawberry names, I never knew that. Oh no, I got stuck in strawberry more by accident. Uh, I can't think of anything. What about you, Nagiki? I'm leaving something that important to me. It was your idea, right? You can probably come up with a better one than I could anyway. Hmm, what about... Hitori? Oh no! I forgot, Nagiki! 
and Kazuaki yeah, are related. Fuck. No, that's kind of sad now. It's sad now. Cause G Kazuaki wouldn't know, but Daiki knows. Hitori? That's an odd name. I can't remember. Hey. I can't remember well, but I think a long time ago, when I was alive, someone very important to me was named Hitori. Are you sure you want to give me a name that precious to you? I don't mind. I can't remember anyway. Oh no, it doesn't remember! You might as well have it. Hitori. 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 Hmm. I am Hitori. Yes, that's right. Thank you. I can't see you, but I can tell you are the two most wonderful birds I've ever met. I won't ever forget I won't ever forget this. Oh no, he thought I was a bird as well. I know the bird. I wonder how I can thank you. Do I have anything? Ah, uh, here, here. Let me give you this. Please, take it. Oh. Ah, oh, another pity stone. Motorbike, why are you gonna be so loud? It's a top pass. I feel very sunny and warm now. I always have to take a nap in the forest when I feel like this. The totally caramel hitori, named Nemo, happily leaves the mountain. The rain has stopped. The king and the guardian deity won't have to worry about it now. The king is probably shaking crying his castle right about now. Let's go give you the good news. Your Highness, Your Highness, we're back. You're not exactly going to a friend's house, Miss Pretty. Shouldn't you be a little more decorous? Should I? I'm already thinking of the king as a friend, though. You must have an awful lot of friends. His Royal Highness, the king. Highness, excuse me. His Royal Highness, the king. The king was very scared of the rain. The king cried. I knew it. Don't worry, Your Majesty. The rings are gone now, so it's okay. Is it truly so? Take a look outside, sir. The king is relieved. The king was afraid the fire would go out. The fire? That must be the light we saw earlier. Oh, okay, okay, it makes sense then. Thanks to you too, the king's land is now peaceful once more. The king has no more troubles. The king said, you will, will you hear the king's final request? The king engaged you in the final <laughs> boss fight. Even though you're out of troubles, the king really wants that palace fear. Right? No, I was told not to give it away. No matter what. Oh, the king has ill intentions. He's like, I want that palace fear for my second head. Drinks tea. Puppy has won't help, Your Majesty. No means no. The king was very sad. Could you give the king just one star from the palace sphere's face? One of the stars? The king wants to conquer! The, the stars are represented by gemstone shards. We could probably pull one out. What do you want to do, Nagaki? Even a single star is still part of the bloody sphere. What do you think, Miss Pity? I'm going to save just in case this is a boss fight. I suppose that's true, but the king has been giving us gems this entire time, so just won't be fine, right? That's reasonable enough. No, that's the reason why people say, you take this, you have this, please do not give it to any anyone, miss anything on that thing. I'm gesturing very terribly right now, I don't know, I don't even know why I'm- Ah, oh, my teeth! I almost pushed my- oh my god, I almost- I almost kicked my 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 mark out of the the the, the table. Oh my goodness! Anyway, like if there people say like you don't do this, you don't give this to this and this, there has to be a reason why. You don't say this one is enough. That's it's the whole day. That's it. Ah, you bothers me. The king asks, "Will you give the king a star from the planet sphere?" All right, I will. Pick one. The king said. The king will like this one here. The king was very grateful. Thank you, guesses from far away. You are welcome. 
I guess we really doubted the king's request is that, Nagiki? Yes, the night is almost over, Miss Pretty. Let's go outside. No, the king... Eh? The abyss of the night sky is a little brighter when we got outside. The sky is so beautiful just before dawn. And I love the air this time of day. Do you always get up before dawn, Miss Pretty? A hunter has to be away and ready before the first light touches the ground. I see. That must be tiring. Dawn. When morning comes. This dream too shall pass. Nike! I'm really happy you got to have this adventure together, even though it was just for one night. I'll always remember this dream. Really? Cross my heart and hope to die. I'm glad I got to walk with you too. Thank you. In the real world, Nike can never leave the school. But one day, one day, I, I want to take him out again like this. There's so much of the earth that I wish you could see. It's the start of a new day. It's the start of a new day, Nike. And I'll see you in the library soon. Yes. It's done. Goodbye, Miss Pretty. Huh? Wait a minute. Where's the sun? What about a dramatic build-up? Hmm. That's sun? Dawn is supposed to come after pre-dawn, isn't it? Whatever you travelers talking about, everyone knows midnight comes after pre-dawn. And after that dusk, then midnight again, then pre-dawn, then midnight. Time swings back and forth like a pendulum after all. You are suspicious. The king, it's the king. The sun will not rise. This dream will never end. That's not how it works. Wait, what, wait, what? The day the night slept. Wait, what? That's all? Is that a bad end? Wait, what? No. You can obviously see from the middle and the middle right that I'm missing one, just one picture from the previous story. What could I be missing? Oh my goodness. Like, what the fuck did I do? Then the king's picture book. Like, I can't open it. I can't click it. What is going on? Oh, fuck it. Anyway, we'll just go for the radio thing. What is it? Where was I again? Part 3? Ah! Welcome to the Nishikoji special talk show. Good evening, folks. I'm the grand artist who has offered his life, his very soul after the imagination. Nishikikoji... Nishikikoji told me. Welcome to our special time. Which you shall spend with... Which you shall spend with me. I am stuttering every time I read you, there has to be something wrong. I don't imagine there are many listeners who don't already know by his heart, but, it, it'll, but allow me to give a brief introduction of my glorious assembly career so far. Once I was the ace of the second optical ordnance division of the Hawk Party Research Organization, and now I'm the manager of the Crow Party, and also the chief editor of the popular Golden Weekly magazine. I doubt anyone in the world is as busy as I am. You are all incredibly grateful that I'm taking this time out of my schedule to conduct a question and answer session, of course. Man, I expect that we'll do fuck. Oh, no, no, no. Mr. Nishikoji, please, open the door. Ugh, it won't open no matter how much we push or pull. It must be locked from the inside. What do we do? At this rate, an entire chapter of the radio program is going to be overrun with some unfortunate golden piece of disaster. You in there, open up this instant. You were bad enough in the leg ligamentine shot. Are you planning to ruin this too? Do you think an outsider like you will go unpunished for this? We won't stop at the charges of trespassing, you hooligan. Ah, uh, it is awfully loud out there. Would a peanut gallery mind keeping his fever jibbing into itself? <laughs> this bracket is no way beautiful. Let me put on some music. Now then. Let's begin my artistic question and answer session. The first is from a young lad by the name of Hatomi is my wife. When are you gonna discontinue golden When are you gonna discontinue golden door? It's gotta be really lame, it just feels like he's run of ideas with the new characters he introduces introduces. Huh. Hey. 
What is this? Do you know how long Mr. Takekishi Paul Levin in obscurity even after he made his debut in high school? Living the ignominious life of an unserialized author. Even when he could get serialized positions, he was never popular in questionnaires, so he's always been dropped. You cannot possibly comprehend how he suffered. And then, he came to me, to Golden Weekly. He was the first artist whose serious workout for me. We struggled all, the way, all this way together, like unfortunate twins, joined at the hip, and so shamefully forced to run in every tree like a race. Ever. Do you have any idea how much sweat and how many tears and how much of his life blood he has poured into Golden Dove? You don't understand, do you? I like how they emphasize blood because he exactly he takes people's blood. <laughs> you know nothing of the joy of a long running series, you disgusting Philistine. So don't just go talking about his discontinuity. Huh. Ah, well then, next one. That's so childish. Oh my god, you can see this kind of character is more. They sure seems lively in there. I wish you opened the door already. Ugh, on the contrary, he seems to be ignoring us entirely. I can't believe a disgrace like this is allowed on campus. It is most vexing. You two are having trouble? The hero always makes his appearance when everybody's in the bigger, right? Yula. No one asked for you to show what? What are you carrying? I've got permission to enforce my way in. Gotta protect the peace and tranquility of the campus after all. I'm going to break this door down whether it's locked or not. Get back a little. The second one is for Tisty Robin. You mean Tester Robin. I'm tired to reverse the dust jackets. Come on, come on with a more interesting bonus or I'm not buying your magazine anymore. Then don't buy it! True? <laughs> if you don't like it, then don't buy it. <laughs> if you if you if you want to boycott, then boycott properly. Why would you read us as low minded as you anyway? Don't you think something is wrong with this trend of publishers who try to outcompete each other through bonus items? A magazine should be judged by what's inside. This is where the competition lies. Do not be fooled by those frivolities. The real artistry lies sparkling with That's as far as you go, Nishiko Titori. Put your wings behind your head. What what is a high school student doing with that thing? Didn't you know, mister? It's a must-have item for any fashionable teenage boy. We have you surrounded. Come quietly and don't try anything. Let's make this as nice as possible, shall we? I don't want to have to shoot you. Not very much, anyway. That rifle. Ah, I see. So you with JB? <laughs> very well. I shall withdraw for today. But one day. One day, this school shall be mine! Darn it. There goes another window. If you're going to go leaping out window, at least open it first. Anyway, we'll secure the broadcast room. We're short on time, so you probably should pro So you probably should get started. Right. Thank you, Yuya. But... Where does he keep getting those things? Now then, let's try this again. The how and why of St. Peter Nations. Here's the question box. I'll be joining in today as the special guest. This time, we've got questions for Westerners. My English isn't very good, so Sakura will be helping out. Already in high school, you still can't use English. Your future is bleak indeed. I don't plan to go overseas, so it won't be that bad. I hope. Alright, first question. From 1SSFSX17, why the fuck will you name your, pa your username like that? That sounds more like a password than a handle. What is Hyoko's favorite weapon? The bow, the sword, or the spear? What is Hyoko's weapon? Wait, did I just read that? Or can you answer that, Kawara? Hyoko's favorite weapon? Well, a few years ago she really liked the bamboo crew, but I think lately she's been using a copper sword more. A copper sword for hunting? Would it be a bit dull for that? It doesn't count very well, but she said it doesn't matter because she's just blunches everything to death anyway. Alright, let's keep going. We are a little short on time, thanks to a certain someone. This one is for you, Sakuya. It's from Rabbit Dub. Sakuya, please let me touch your feathers. I want to touch your feathers very much. 
Never. Hey, translate it into English first. Or Japanese, I guess, since this is the English release. I don't actually need you here at all, but if we started cutting whole characters out of scenes just because language barrier jokes don't really work, then things will get pretty confusing pretty quickly, right? And that's awfully considerate of you. <laughs> Sakuya, please let me touch your feathers. I want to touch your feathers. Why should I let myself be touched by a common riffraff? That's too bad then. <laughs> that's too bad then, Rabbit Dog. Maybe he'll let you touch that if he became nobility. This one's anonymous. What are your thoughts on Brian Pigeon? Do you consider his blood to be quality literature? On second thoughts, maybe it would be okay if he didn't bother repeating everything at all. Look here, peasant! Oh, I just realized that's why I, I saw it twice because he was translating the blood. I've got one job on this lousy show. It's stupid, but I'm going to do it. Is that clear? Yeah, he has one job. Let him, let him do it. Okay, okay. Anyway, Brian. Wait, who? Don't you even know that, you ignoramus. He is a great pigeon from the great land of Great Britain eh? and the very first intellectual column bit. Go look up Brian Pigeon online for the good of us all. I went to check the blog before, back then when I first played Hatofu Boyfriend. And like, it legit is a real thing and it's still updating. Like, it's still updated even until now. That's kinda amazing. <laughs> Whoa! But, this blog is in English. English localization or no, I, I still can't read it. Of course it's in English, he lives in London. His posters may even be counted as fine literature. At the very least, they are culturally quite valuable. They will definitely leave a mark on Avian history to come. Wow, he must be really important. I have to work hard on my English so I can read his blog. Here's the last one. It's anonymous too. It's for Sun. I love you. Oh, of course, the Sun loves you too. Bye. Sakuya, Sakuya, I understand that. Don't act so proud, nymphotite. Well, I guess that's our body for today. Indeed, we shall have to cut this session short. It's almost time for the school to close. Let us make a smooth exit. Yep. Bye bye, everybody. Ah, oh, that was so short, but that wasn't so bad. Oh my god, what happens if I change it to Japanese? Radio! Special talk show! Hi! Nishiki Koji Special talk show! Yeah, Konnichiwa! Ah, uh, oh shit, I can't read that. Naru imagination ni inochi sasageru. え、ふらふらふらにちこじるら。僕とすごくスペシャルなじかにようこそ。知らないリサナはまずいないんだろう。まずいなん。まずい、まずい、まずいないんだろうけど。あ、か、輝く輝し僕の何々紹介をしておこ
ひろ、ひろこへ、とさかへの質問だね。気に入っている、おい、気に入っている武器は何か ?The spear the k e n のあるいは、I don't remember how to read this. レビットから、サクヤ、サクヤ、please let me touch your feathers. I want to touch your feathers. 断る。ポロポワー。Oh my god. Even お子さんに say he's not c r o w i s ポロポワー。お子さんも、I love you, the s h e Why is ポロポワー。I suppose it's supposed to be something a pigeon makes in the ポロポー、ポロポー。Okay,、yeah, that's nice to know. This is all I want to check out actually. Let me just change it back to English. There you go. Okay. I guess after that we can continue to the next one. What? Oh, no! She! Hey! Ha! Oh, ha! Title! Oh my god. I thought like. Oh, okay. Oh my god. I was like, wait, is the next story not unlocked? Why is this black thing? It's like, oh, it's meant to look like that. Shit. Oh, look at wait, wait. I just noticed. Look at the bottom. What are these? Short episode. Documentized Chronicles. Go away. What about this one? Short episode. They're all, oh, they're all short episodes. Okay. After I'm done with the fourth story, this one, fourth story, I'll move on to the New Year's one, the hard one, then this one. So by then, it's just, you know, it's just a usual going back to the. the oh my god, spoilers ahead. It must be about the BBL story. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, that's all.